What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Goat Life TV, where we show you guys a little bit of our digital nomad life. We've left Medellin, and we are now in Salento, which is like a little cowboy farm town, and there's only 7,000 people here. We are actually outside of the town on this beautiful farm that you see behind us, and we're staying here for seven nights. This is the most amazing hostel we've, hostel we've ever stayed at. It's called La Serena. And we have our own room with a fireplace, incredible views over the mountains, and this place is just oh, it was, spectacular. It came so highly recommended. Not only do we have our own room, but we have our own farmhouse perched up here on this hill, and we're sharing it with two other couples, and there's a kitchen and everything. There's a bonfire area down there. Um, and no, we're not getting paid to say this, and we, we're paying for the room like normal travelers. We didn't get a free room. We just really like this, this place, place so far. Yeah, this place is epic. Anyways, enough about the hostel. Yeah. Um, we're gonna be here for seven nights, and we're gonna do some coffee tours, um, trekking, yeah, and yeah, yeah, visiting the town, chilling out. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun, so check it out. walking for just about 20 minutes from our hostel along this beautiful little dirt track surrounded by trees and bushes and everything and we're gonna find some coffee farms. Apparently there's quite a few organic coffee farms around here. This sign here is for Ocasa and we're just heading down this hill here. We'll probably run into it about, well apparently 2.5 kilometers. Salento is one of the main coffee regions here in Colombia and we are going to go learn about coffee right now. Uh, they do a tour just about 20 minutes from our hostel. They do a tour every hour so we got here just in time. They gave us these funky little waste baskets. I think we're gonna go uh, pick some coffee or something. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go catch up with the group. <laughs> So we now know why we have these baskets. We're being put to work. We have to go and harvest some of the berries that are ready. We're looking for red and yellow ones. Got one. <laughs> now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Coffee brewed the traditional way, freshly ground as well. Let's have a try. Mmm, that's actually pretty good, a little bit sweet, kind of. Today is Nick's birthday! Woo, 32! Happy birthday, dear Nick! Happy birthday to you! Feliz cumpleaños! Gracias. Okay, so basically all morning we just chilled out because it was raining. We stayed in the room, which I love on my birthday. Relaxing. But there's a lot to do around Salento, so today we're at least going to make it to these top of these stairs. Uh, we're halfway there now about, and there's a beautiful view over the town of Salento and the mountains from up there. Let's get hiking. Let's go. We climbed up those stairs and we met up with some new friends here. They're from Bogota. Yes. And, uh, hey. <laughs> they invited us to this place because it has a really good typical dish. What's it called again? Matacón con hogao. Yeah, so we're going to sit down, have a couple beers and enjoy some lunch. Okay, so this right here is my birthday patacón pisao, which <laughs> means literally like stepped on plantain because they take a plantain, they fry it, and I got the work. So I got cheese, I got meat on here, I put a bunch of salsa on it, some guacamole, and this is called hogao, and it's a type of tomato salsa with onion. It's actually really tasty, so have a bite. I also put some hot salsa on here. <laughs> Yum. Mm. Mm. It's good. Delicioso. Nice, crispy. Needs more hot salsa, but really nice. <laughs> <laughs> 
So right now we're in this bar in Salento and behind us everyone's playing this game called Tejo. It's so random, there's like a mud pile and you throw these sort of like, I don't know, cement pieces of something, little discs, onto gunpowder and it explodes. Yeah, it's basically gunpowder, it's kind of a drinking game because it always happens in bars. So you're drinking a bunch of beer and these guys over here just exploded one. You can see the smoke. But yeah, basically you throw a big piece of lead at some fireworks, explode. So gunpowder and beer. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Alcohol and explosions? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't get better than that. All right, so let's go play. I'm gonna. We have been in Salento now for four days and we finally got some sun. It's been cloudy Yay! and rainy every day. But today we're gonna go on the famous hike to the Valle de Cocora. Let's go. 